when Zuckerberg paid $20 billion in WhatsApp. And for the next two weeks, she was getting endless advertising from divorce lawyers and from Match.com. If you've ever heard of Pegasus? I have not. Um, it's an offensive cyber virus used for hacking phones. Okay. The guy that developed that is our CTO. One of the reasons the tech sector has gone so big so fast is it's also, it was the most unregulated space and they were allowed to consolidate without limits whatsoever. So now you have Google controlling 90% of, of search. Of, so they literally control your access, your search of data. You have Facebook, social media guys controlling 70 to 80% of all that messaging. <laughs> When, when Zuckerberg paid $20 billion in WhatsApp, he did that because every message, call, picture, whatever that passes through from WhatsApp is analyzed by their algorithm to sell advertising. And that became very clear to me when I managed to piss off my wife. And she sent me a scorcher of a text on WhatsApp. And for the next two weeks, she was getting endless advertising from divorce lawyers and from Match.com. Oh, Van, are you kidding me? Absolute fact. And and then seeing what um, you, know, you have effectively a duopoly between Apple and Google. Apple about thirty percent of world market share. Google, the other seventy percent. Those are the two operating systems which control those phones. So if you're running a any Android today or any Apple iPhone. They know where you go, who you call, what you buy, and what you browse. The companies do. And they resell that data, your, your data, to advertisers. And even despite all the nonsense or the noise that, that they're saying, oh, how we respect privacy and all the rest, your advertising ID follows you everywhere. Even if your phone is switched off or if, you're, if it's in airplane mode, it's still pinging Wi-Fi, it's still pinging towers, it knows exactly where you are. And then seeing what happened um, with big tech, deciding who could be on the app, the app stores, throwing them off, and literally controlling and censoring speech. Um, I said to a, a couple of buddies of mine, because we had a, a project we were working on, a cyber forensic thing, and I said, let's pivot, let's, we need to do a phone, an independent phone platform that is not subject to the to the whims of Google and Apple. And so um, if you've ever heard of Pegasus? I have not. Um, it's an offensive cyber virus used for hacking phones. Okay. The guy that developed that is our CTO. But he did it not to be offensive. He did it as a way for a phone company to do remote phone service. They send you a text, they click on it, fix your phone, and then leave. When he became offensive, he left and he went and built a very secure phone, which is still used by, uh, by governments today. And then he went to build uh, the phone that controls most of the world's pacemakers. You can imagine you don't want a phone that you can hack um, if you're going to run a pacemaker with it. Yeah, no kidding. So uh, we'll deliver the first 500 units next month. It's our hardware. It's Android based, but it's all our code. Our phone, not made in China. Supply chain not coming from China with our operating system, with our own store, antivirus, VPN, and secure messenger. And look, if you're 16 years old and you posted what you had for breakfast on, on Instagram, it's probably not for you. But if you're an adult that cares about um, uh, where you go as your business and uh, it's not to be your, your data is not to be traded on. Uh, with everyone, uh, that's something to think about. So we'll sell the phone for just under a thousand bucks, comparable in speed, storage, camera quality to the highest end of what the other guys sell. But our operating system does not contain any of those hooks for harvesting and selling your data. So it's a proprietary phone and hardware. Correct. Operating system, hardware, all the rest is called unplugged. And um, uh, we're pretty excited about it. It also, uh, you know, it comes with a uh, with an actual kill switch because, again, 
if you if you turn this phone off and you separate this, it separates the electronics from the battery so that off is off. And um, uh, so you, you, you buy it for just under $1,000. The second year, you'll pay $10 a month, and we guarantee that none of your data is collected, stored, analyzed, or resold. If you still want to use other secure messaging apps like Signal or Threema or Telegram, that's available in our app store. We even have... Is it well, necessary? Would it be necessary at all to have Signal other no. than contacts? Nope. No. Not, we have our own secure messenger. Um, it works uh, voice call, video call. Um, and ours, our, huh, our messenger generates a new encryption key every call. No shit. Yes. Incredible. Um, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and because it's our app store... It's not Apple's. It's not Google's. We even have a lot of the apps that that are not allowed in those stores, like even an app for people that a dating app for people that are unvaccinated, for example, right? Because the, the 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 Silicon Valley wizards deem that was too controversial. So people that are in favor of free speech and uh, freedom of expression and thought should find uh, a, a residence here in uh, in what we're doing. When you use the the messenger, yep. if I so let's say, how do I say this? Does it have to be phone to phone? What's it called? Unplugged. Unplugged. Does it have to be unplugged phone to unplugged phone to get the secure? Our messenger also fits. We can you can put it on a iPhone or you can put it on any other Android right now. Those phones will still have an ad ID. So if you're using that phone. Um, that data will still be tracked, but the but the phone call itself will be secure, highly secure. So that phone to iPhone, that's secure. Yep. iPhone to iPhone, not. Or, what, uh, or look, whatever, you, WhatsApp to WhatsApp. Unplug Messenger, uh, we realized that um, a lot of people communicate through a lot of different means. And so we wanted our Messenger to be, um, to be compatible. We'll, we'll soon have a function where we can go from Unplug Messenger and push it to a signal. Okay. If you're only using signal. Uh, but unplugged to unplugged is far and away the most secure way you can communicate. We even have a dump feature that if someone says, unlock that phone, and you can enter a code to unlock it, or you can enter another code, which wipes it. It wipes it 100%. Gone, baby, it's gone. Clean. Nice. Nice. What? <clears throat> we had a question from the audience about the Patriot Act. Okay. Can you describe what the Patriot Act is? I think the Patriot Act was a well-intentioned, but turns out awful overreach and awful over-granting of authorities for the federal government to dig into people's communications. And I think it was it was passed in the recent memory of 9-11, which was shocking and alarming to a lot of people. And uh, the danger of these forever wars is that eventually all these tools get turned back on on the populace, on citizens. And Unplugged is an answer to that because I think the hegemony of big government and big tech has swung the pendulum of, of a surveillance state way, way too far in one direction. And we did this phone as a way for people to reclaim their communications uh, and data privacy. Um, short of that, I mean, you, you'll see lots of... Um, uh, of stories on 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 any government agency. Heck, you can right now with a credit card and a thousand bucks buy all the cell phone data on a certain neighborhood or a certain house. And you watch the advertising IDs that are attached to each of those Google and Apple phones, where they go, and, and over a period of 30 days, you can build a pattern of life and you know where they go, when they go, who they go meet, et cetera. It's alarming. And that's not even a, there's no FISA warrant or any warrant that's required for that. And that's done routinely. That's even how all anybody that was on the Capitol grounds on January 6th, that's how they, that's how they were all identified was whose cell phones are registered to towers, uh, what their IMEIs were and, uh, and the cell phone data. We don't have an advertising ID and we have a ability to roll the IMEI. Man, that's incredible. When, and when are these coming out? 
first 500 come in uh, end of September, and then we'll grow to uh, a few thousand, and, then, and we'll build. We're we're not a, uh, a super venture capital backed company, meaning we're thin and lean and mean, but um, uh, you know we're like the uh, the little engine that can. We're we're going to get there. That's incredible. Unplug.com. Hey, everybody. I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.